Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic epic unboxing. So, we've got uh, this, yeah, so put this up, check it out, and uh, yo, holy crap, what in the, bruh, okay. First of all, I'm giving a big time shout out to uh, your boy Haru Ren. You already know Baku Talk Haru Ren. If you don't know and you're a fan of Bakugan, you gotta go check out his channel because he literally has constant updates about anything and everything with uh, Bakugan and such. And he's an absolute goat for sure, so go and show him some love. If you don't know who he is, like, what are you doing? Go check out his channel for sure. But, uh, yeah, man, he sent over some more stuff, so... Oh my god, dude. Alright, guys, so what we've got is this. It is the epic Bakugan Evolutions Battle Strike Pack featuring Ventus... Neonilius, man. Ventus Platinum Neonilius. And also Arliss Ghost Beast. And it looks like we've also got Feral in here. We got Shrox as well. We've got uh Nano Clutch and Nano Aura all up in here, man. So yeah, you know these battle strike packs are freaking massive. Ton of stuff featured with them. And these are actually from Wave 4. So some of the last uh Bakugan that they have planned uh to go out before getting into legends and such. And this was a wave that was thought to be scrapped, but it's actually being released in some places. But, uh, yeah, dude. This pack looking really, really sick, and I love the freaking design of Neo Nilius. It looks so cool. But, yeah, and look at the artwork for all of them, man. You got Trox, Feral, Nilius up there. Also got Ghost Beast right there in Arliss, too. Looking dope, man. All right, so now we've got to check out the back. So, Aqua's Trox. Uh, Chaos Feral, Ventus Platinum Neo Nilius, uh, Arliss Ghost Beast, Aquas Nano Clutch, Chaos Nano Aura. All up in here, man. So we got all the cards, you know, for the Geogon as well as the Nanogon. And also uh, the character cards for the Bakugan, Gate Cards, and the Cores. So, yeah. And then the Bakugan Fan Hub. You can download it on the App Store or Google Play. But yeah, man. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see if... Uh, Da, 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 da. Get it. Let's see. Might have to get the tape. Oh boy. The tape is back at it again, man. It looks like it's tough to get this tape off. Ah, oh, shit. And y'all, you already know I'm big time hype because getting back into like deck building big time. It's it's time, man. The time is finally upon. It's been waiting patiently and yeah, stay tuned. You already know a bunch of stuff is coming. But also keep in mind, I do work, and it takes up time, and I'd be tired because I'm a person. So, yeah. Lots of things planned, for sure. But, let's see. Do -do. If I can get it out of there, this tape, all this, holy crap, that's a big tape strip. That crap off of there. And then, let me get this out first. Get them cards out of there. All right, there we go. <clears throat> that off to the side. And then now. Uh, da -da. See, Aura's got one plastic strip. This is the fun part, is getting them all out. With all the plastic strips, all right. Got Aura, now Clutch. Got you, I think, unless it's Oh, it's the top part. There you go. Those pincers. And we got Ghost Beast. If I can get it up out of there. Is there another one? Yep. Ghost Beast. Uh, Nilius. All oh, these plastic strips, man. Feral. Is there another one? In the most awkward spot, too. And then shots. And then one up at the top. Oh, you're a double. I had to save the best one for last, huh? Alright. And there we go. Okay. And all these freaking plastic strips. Like, my goodness. Spin Master, I had to say get rid of the freaking plastic strips. Like, there's just so many. Alright. But now, set everything over here. And we gotta get into uh, the cards and cores and such. Okay. Do 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 do. 
Alrighty, so got all the gate cards here. Got Montrepot on this one, so 300, 400, 0, 100, 200, and 800. Big time boost for Darkest. Uh, your Bakugan gets a Flame Fist bonus. If it gets a Flame Fist bonus, it'll get that bonus if it lands on this gate card. And that artwork looking really sick for Montrepod. And then the artwork with uh, Leah and Shun. And then 100, 600, 100, 100, 100, 600, you know. Uh, Darkest Aqua's getting the most Magic Shield bonus. So if your Bakugan gets a bonus on a Magic Shield, it'll get it on this gate card. And then we got Talon showing off its power. Major boost for Ventus right there with that 800 looking really dope. And then she, uh, shield bonus, you know, you know how it goes. So now we got to get into uh, the cores. I guess I'll put it this way. I'll do it this way Then set the cores right there. All right. So we've got a flame fist plus 250 plus three. Very nice. Uh, plus 150 plus two regular fist. Also really nice. Plus 150, plus 4. Another solid one. Um, plus 600 for the Magic Shield. 650 being the best, but still not bad. Uh, plus 500, you know, it's being okay. And then plus 300 for that Shield. That's really nice. Plus 400 being the best one, except for Arliss. Arliss being the plus 300, which we still got to see. Freaking um, Arliss plus 400 Shields. And also, you know, plus 3 regular Fists. But yeah, so now we gotta get into this huge old hunk of Bakugan and such, you know, and Nanoguns and everything. So, I guess we'll start off with the Nanogon. So we're gonna start off with Clutch. Got Aqua's Clutch up in here. Got that Aqua's Blue with it, you know, that big time uh, Aqua Blue looking really, really awesome. Um, then you got the yellow right there for uh, the eyes for it. Got the pincers up there. Uh, got the little stubby arms, you know. Uh, you know, all the little claws for it. Then, of course, the big old thorax back here. But, uh, yeah, dude. It's looking really sick. Aqua's faction symbol right there. And then, gotta put this all together. Put those in. Bring it around town. And there we go. So, there's Aqua's nano clutch in the closed form. Looking really, really dope. Like I said, the thing I love about these, I'm still having the spherical shape with them. I like them a lot more than the, uh, you know, than the original, like, Baku Nano. You know, like, the Nano Gun, I definitely dig for sure. So, yeah, because they still have the spherical shape, even being totally manual. And you don't have to use them for a profile. You can if you want to, but I like including them, you know, unless there's, like, a misprint with the cards and such. But, yeah. Then we got Aura up in here, man. Completely open, uh, but looking so, so sick. And Aura being the freaking Nano Gun for, for your boy Skuller. The Arliss teacher is Bakugan. Like, Arliss Skuller, that's the name of it, man. That bat, that bat skeleton looking one. I really hope they put it out, dude. It's supposed to be a part of the last wave, and I'm really hoping they just don't scrap it. Like, put it out there, Spin Master. I want to see that thing. I love that thing's design. I've loved it since it was in the show, and I wanted a real figure for it. And if they scrap it, I'll be pissed, dude. I'm already sad Tico doesn't have, it, like, a ball form. Like, why did we never get an actual figure for Tico? Or Gorillion. As a matter of fact, with that, I'm like, damn, for real. And then imagine if they would have actually made, like, Sabra by itself, because Sabris, but, you know, there's just so many different Bakugan, it would be, like, amazing to see. But Skuller is one of the ones I really want to see. Like, don't add it to that list and try to get the Bakugan from that list done. It would be amazing. But anyways, the turquoise for the wings. Um, Then you got the bottom parts right there, kind of the sword designs for it. Um, And then the body itself, having that same turquoise, white plastic on the outside. And then the Chaos Faction symbol right there. Looking really, really sick, dude. So, boom, 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 and boom. There you go. So, there is Chaos uh, Aura in the closed ball form, man. Let's see. I have to just maneuver it a little bit. Mess around with it a little bit. So, you move that one. I think it's that one that's got to be moved over. All right. Down there. There we, there we go. Okay. It was just off a little bit. But Chaos Aura on the closed form looking really, really sick, man. Definitely digging it in a major way. Looks awesome with that white and also the transparent turquoise. All right, so I guess next up, we'll get into... Uh, we'll get into Trox. Why not? <clears throat> so we've got uh, Aqua's Trox up in here. Core Trox that we saw, the Armored um, Alliance version, you know, for the mold. Still looking really sick. Got the stubby little reptile arms. Sky blue right there for uh, kind of the mustache on it. And having that orange 
uh, you know, kind of Aqua's elemental symbol right there on the cheek, which looks really, really cool. Yellow in the eyes, orange in the mouth, and then the sky blue right there for, uh, you know, the shoulder blades as well as, like, the back legs and also on the tail. Looking really, really sick. And uh, B-Power 300, so if it has a magic shield with it, then it can get to 950 unless it has an additional bonus, which maybe it will. But, yeah, so boom, boom, head in, body twist forward, tail in, and uh, let's see. Should be it. Gotta just twist it forward a little bit. And. Oh. I'm on you. Alright. Oh, it's that. Okay, that leg's what to be in like a pain. I see, I see. I did it. I did it out of order. So. Let's try this. Huh, I gotta. I gotta adjust it. Try this again. Alright. Twist the body. There you go. Then the tail. Push that in. Head forward. And there it is. So that's how you close uh, Aquas Trox. Looking really, really sick, man. Definitely digging in Aquas. Looks really cool with the uh, Evolutions kind of paint scheme with it. So, yeah. All right, man. So next up, we're going to get into uh, Feral. So Chaos, Feral up in here. Uh, I did see it before in Armored Alliance, but like, you know, having a different uh, kind of color print with it and hopefully some better stats with it. But uh, yeah, so got the white for the head. Got a little bit of like the sky blue paint you know for around the headpiece also on the feet and then you also got uh the yellow in the eyes and such and then also for the beard and then you got the silver right back there for the top part of the back legs and then on the wings as well having the chaos elemental symbol got the sil the silver right there um yeah looking really really sick and yeah, overall, not a crazy paint application with it. And some pearlescent white plastic with it, making it look really, really sick. And whoa, your boy's a thousand straight out of the gate. Ooh, okay. You talk about it being solid. Yep. Hey, Osferro is up there, man. It is definitely up there. But uh, yeah, now we got to see how to close it. I think the head's down. I think the head might be stuck down or something with it. Um. Oh, it's the, the head piece part. Okay, there we go. That's always stuck. Stuck behind the feet. But, uh,. See, gotta get those back first. Yep, those back. Fold that in. And then the back legs come together. Then the wings. And there you go. Hey, Osferal in the closed ball form. Looking really sick. Like I said, not a crazy paint application with it, but still having a bit of like, uh, you know, the sky blue on the outside uh, with all the pearlescent white plastic. Looking really sick. And a little bit of the silver as well. But overall. Uh, simple, but still looking really, really dope. All right. Next up, we've got Arliss Ghost Beast up in here, man. Ghost Beast having a really, really sick design. I dug the design for it whenever it was using it, uh, you know, with the third season. But, yeah, you got the gold right there for the horns, silver right there for uh, the arms and such for it. And uh, it's a little bit closed. I'll open it all the way up. There we go. So, of course, being like the shape of a barrel... And then you got the manual parts right there being like the hooves that that uh, come out. And having the gold right there, dude, looking so sick. Loving that uh, metallic gold that they use for the hooves. The same that they use for uh, the horns. And overall looking really, really sick. So we got to see uh, where the hell that B power is. Do, 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 do. Um, and this piece also comes out because you could make uh, Ultimate Villoc, you know, with it. It's one of the geogon for it we gotta find that b power if we can actually see it somewhere oh there it is 800 all right so maybe like one cost for it wouldn't be surprised i mean they've had some geogon that have been coming out that like literally zero cost so it'd be wild if this thing's zero cost but uh yeah so there you go simple to close it out wings in uh head in and then you just push it down and close it up that way but that metallic silver on the outside making it pop the transparent plastic as well and also the matte gold plastic as well looking really really sick in the silver paint there uh, a little bit of like the arliss elemental kind of symbol right there and yeah arliss ghost beast in the closed ball form or closed barrel form i guess in this case looking really really dope man definitely digging how it looks in arliss Hopefully it's got some pretty good stats with it. With the Geogon, they should really just put out a play set of three cards. That way we can use them straight out of the gate. Because otherwise we'll have to go and get three copies. Like literally three different sets so you can get three copies of the card just so you can use a Geogon for a deck profile. Because I wouldn't want to use it if there's only like one card for it. So yeah, you know. 
and because that like the geo gun rules are just all funky and stuff because of it because like literally like it's so difficult to get the cards and everything you got a proxy if you want even a play set unless you want to pick up multiple but yeah man all right so last but not least we gotta get into this i guess one of the stars of this pack that being ventus platinum neo nilius is one of the newest uh molds and of course like naturally you know being one of the newest bakugan out and look at the freaking red that they put on the metal with it being silver that looks sick man they left it just straight silver shiny silver with all the green around it got the different heads right there two on each side like i said it reminds me a lot of like if uh guy razor from gundale innovators and uh the reboot core drago from the first season had a baby if you look at it at the front kind of reminds me of that i don't know um but yeah dude got all the legs right there a little bit of yellow uh and they used a lot of lime green plastic for this. A little bit of forest green for the top of the head. And then also on the wings. Red right there on the wings as well. And also on the metal up top. A little bit of the forest green in the back on the tail. And overall looking really sick. And then the B power for it being uh, 600. So I mean if it has the magic shield with it. At least one magic shield can break 1000. But yeah. Overall it's looking really really dope dude. So the way to close it up. Uh, those heads in tail wings um i forgot to put the feet in jk jk lol i gotta put it the back feet can't forget the back feet that's probably like the first thing to put in back feet in the tail um then the wings and then the heads in the front and then the top head and that's what holds everything together kind of like the phaedrus effect with it a little bit that the heads what holds everything together with it but uh, yeah, Ventus, Platinum, Neo Nilius in the closed ball form, man. Looking so sick. This thing looks so cool. And all the weight with it with that metal, too, man. So, so awesome. But, uh, yeah, now we got to get into the cards and then start opening everything up. <clears throat> so, we got Aqua's Clutch up in here. Built-in reroll. You have to have uh, two Flame Fist and a Helix on your Bakugan. It goes off of all your Bakugan in your party. But if you have that, plus 1,500, so that's a big-time boost right there. And then for uh, Chaos Aura, uh, you could see Skuller in the background. Man, I really hope we get it, dude. I want to see Skuller. It has such a cool design. But uh, Flame Fist, if you have one, plus 200, double, plus 600. And, you know, with these, it literally goes off of, uh, you can use it whenever, you know, but you want to use it, of course, when you have, like, a, a setup for it. So in this case, Clutch only having, like, one setup for it. Um, you could play it just to get a reroll, but if you don't have that, then you want to get that effect you know what i mean um but with aura if you have like one flame fist or you know you could use it right then or you can wait till you have two but once you use it you can only use one of the you know one of the effects for it so you could use it right away for the plus 200 or you can try to get both and get the plus 600 with it and it's kind of like a special deck you know they're like a big time attack out of nowhere like an rko once you use it you flip it over it's all done and you could have up to three so yeah just like how you can have up to three bakugan yeah but uh, the artwork for it looking so sick and scholar, man. The silhouette of it. Then we got Feral up in here. 1,001. 1,650 and 1. It's getting up to serious B power. Not much damage with it, but that's the big time balance that I'm enjoying with the game. We're seeing the Bakugan get stronger, like, with the seasons going ahead. You know, like, slowly inching up there. Um, but at the same time, they're keeping that balance by making it where they don't have that much damage. So you have to focus on the damage cards and such. And not as much on, like, B power cards. Mainly damage because you can do all... You can have all the B-Power in the world, but if you have no damage to back it up, you're not going to really do that much damage and be that effective when it comes to, like, battling in a TCG. But, yeah, you know, that's one thing I love about the balance, even at this stage, being really, really balanced, man. It's a lot better treatment than the first era, that's for damn sure. You can still use Bakugan from the first season. But, uh, Pharaoh looking really, really sick with that artwork. Or if you want a kind of, uh, B-Power, or you want a kind of a damage setup for it, you can get up to 7, like 1,007. So, yeah, you know. And then you got Trox up in here. Aquas Trox 303. Yo, what? On a fist, it gets plus 700 and plus 7. It has a magic shield with it as well. Ooh. Okay, so I mean like 950 and 3 with that magic shield. But the true kicker being a, a regular fist deck set up for this thing, man. So you're talking about what? 1150? 1150 and 12? Ooh. Yeah, having some serious damage for a damage deck, but also breaking a thousand. Your boy's definitely usable and strong. Aqua Reptar ain't playing no games with this man. He's putting in that work. That's for damn sure. 
But yeah, 12 or 13 damage you can get up to right away. Whew. Yeah. Better be ready for damage deck setups. Um, and then we got uh, Ventus, Platinum, Neonilius, 603, Shield, and Flame Fist. But if it lands on a Flame Fist, you can add a core. So with that bonus, I mean, 1250, if you get a Magic Shield, like, you know, that 650, 1250, plus the other 250, like 1500. 1506, I believe. So, yeah, getting up there B power wise and having some good damage with it, definitely usable, man. You already know. You got some power with them. And Ventus Nilius tends to be like really strong, man. They usually make it like pretty strong. But, uh, yeah. Then we've got Ghost Beast up in here. Three cost 803. It lands on a shield plus 600. So it's getting up to 1700. 1703. Three costs. Not bad for sure. Um, but definitely they should just put in like. Oh, play set of three of these cards, so you're not having to get multiple sets that are already going to be kind of difficult to find, you know, especially for these for this wave. Don't even know if, like, wave four is actually going to be coming to the States. Like, these are from Canada, and they've been found up there. But, yeah, uh, you know, I mean, they might as well just put in, like, a play set of three cards, like, for the Diamonds and also for the Geogon. That way you can have a play set of them and use them straight out of the gate, you know. That's why, like, right now, it's like, you could stack as many Geogon as you want to in a deck. Technically, the honest technical rules are that, like, it's one Geogon per Brawl. So you have, like, three copies of that card that you could have and such. And even the Evos and stuff, they explained that before. But just because the state of the TCG and everything, it makes it tough to do that. So it's kind of just, like, go with whatever. Make <laughs> make a, uh, a deck with a bunch of Geogon in it. But you technically have to carry them around with you. But, you, you know. Because, like, the Baku gear and also the Nano Gun, you don't have to take with you, but you can have the cards in your deck. But the actual Geo Gun, you have to have the Geo Gun with you in order to use it. And they did that so you didn't, you couldn't, like, spam with a crap ton of Geo Gun and such. Or you have to carry around, like, 10, 15, or however many Geo Gun that you're using in the profile. But just mm -hmm. the, the TCG's weird, I guess. That's all we can say. The TCG's weird. But, um, yeah, so we're just going whatever with the Geo Gun rules, I guess. But. You know, anyways, we got to get into it, man. So, first of all, opening up a uh, Ghost Beast. So, three, two, and one. Bop. There we go. Got Ghost Beast right there. And then we got to get Trox up out of there. Bop. Ooh. Sliding off a little bit, but still landed. Aqua Reptar. And now we got Feral. Oh, I wanted that, man. Just rolled it probably a little too quick. Gave it too much mustard. Hey! And yo, just freaking <laughs> hit it with his tail. That's hilarious. Um, hit Ghost Beast, but then now, uh, we got Nilius up in here. Bop. And oh, 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 bruh, that, if it would have spun back, that would have been dope. Hey, and there's the opening action for Neo Nilius. Looking so dope, man. All these Bakugan and such, definitely usable. Like, Feral, strong. Trox, strong. Ghost Beast definitely could be used. Um, you know, like, it being decent anyways for it. Um, and the Neo Nilius definitely being usable as well. All of them are usable. Putting in that work. And, yeah, I can't wait to deck build big time, dude. Like, you know this has been building for months. And it's been waiting. But, uh, yeah, guys. That is going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Evolutions Battle Strike Pack. Featuring Ventus, Platinum, Neo Nilius, and Arliss Ghost Beast. But as well as Chaos Feral, Aquas Trox. Um, Aquas Nano Aura, or Chaos Nano Aura, and Aquas Nano Clutch. But, yeah, man. Overall, these packs are loaded. You already know. That's why the unboxings for them are so long. Going into the depth the details about everything that comes with these packs. Letting you guys know how strong all the Bakugan are, so you can make your decision if you want to pick them up or such. And, I mean, if you could find them in stores, I mean, definitely, definitely pick them up. Because it's last wave stuff uh, for... Uh, you know, for evolutions before getting into legends. And, yeah, man, surely not going to be around for, like, too, too long of a time. But, yeah, man, once again, big time thank you to Haru Ren for just helping me find this and get my hands on it for sure, man. Um, I'm loving the Bakugan and such they have planned for, like, this last wave, and I'm really hoping they just put it all out. Like, Skuller, I hope we get Skuller, man. <laughs> I really do. I love the design of that thing. We we got Aura. Aura is a thing now, but we got to see Skuller. But, 
yeah hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how you did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys till next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks so much for watching till then stay awesome and bakugan brawl i'm up out of here